good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld. I'm very happy to be here with Jane Sibbett. And she, as probably a lot of people know, was an actress, television star on Friends, mm -hmm. which I never actually watched. I That's okay. I, I, I didn't watch TV either, so I it's really fun. I couldn't understand what they were talking about. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> what's the point here? <laughs> now, what's the going? love, life. Love, what's life, all that. that. But anyway, <laughs> she has had a huge shift in her focus and now is doing, I would say, hands on healing, her dancing hands. Dan they're dancing hands, but it comes through my voice as well as it does. my eyes, my body, my cells, everything in, well, in dance. Well, let's talk about your yeah. story. Okay. Then. Because <laughs> you were an actress, right? Yes. But were you, mm -hmm. like, interested in energy, work, and healing? That's such a great question, Alan. You know, I was, I was a girl who wasn't involved in what I still call the woo-woo world. You know, That's it's my world. The... <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> All things woo-woo. I didn't. That's right. I knew a little bit. I mean, seriously, when I moved to Los Angeles on my first show as a soap opera, and I walked into my friend's room. Oh, I, oh, we're doing this. Well, Hello. you could do walk. Okay, yes. Back okay, so it's, it's, me, it's not the camera. It's like because, three of us. So let me just tell you. Yes. Well, I'm picking up right now. Oh. When you when someone's moving, like the movement of the mic, someone's brushing up against Oh, that must my be me. Oh, maybe that's you. Could if be you pull me. it out of your... Could be my bra. Yeah. I have oh, no, I'm wearing my noisy bra today. I guess just be careful of... It might be you. Uh, it might be me, but... Hey, let's see. Do you hear that? How's that? Is it me? Like it's a, you. Okay, I'll try to be careful. Okay. okay. You look very nice. Can I fix your collar? Yes, please. Here we go. You know. It's definitely you. It is? Okay, I was trying not to move so much. Okay, <laughs> so tell Wait, us sorry. then, what was happening to get your so woo-woo? Well, you know, I had a very, very, very happy and successful career and uh, as, as an actress. And then um, you get to a certain point and you want to try new things. And it was, I'd actually received messages that maybe it was time for me to do something new and it was time for me to consider other options. And these were channeled messages. Um, and it was also suggested to me that uh, we might consider moving to Hawaii. Mm. And for me to actually leave my, my ranch, in, leave California, Your leave all my LA, friends. Somewhere? You know, up in Topanga. Oh, I love yeah, Topanga. Yeah, we had a, a trust ranch. It was mm. just amazing, you know, 14 acres, 17 acres on a, and then 14 uh, more on, across wow. the street that were ours. And it was 360 views, and it was just this magical place on the edge. Um, of a beautiful mountain that's a very sacred mountain in Lemuria. Mm. So I had a lot of messages coming through, a lot of entities, a lot of interactions, right. and it was suggested that it was time for us to move, and it was time for us to move to Hawaii. Now, I knew when I met my former husband that I would live in Hawaii at some point, that there was something in the Hawaiian energy that I knew that I needed to be a part of. And it was when I got off an airplane when I was 13 years old, mm. I'm going to I'm gonna have to bring this story all together really quickly, <laughs> but when I got there, I just went, I'm home. I felt I'm like home. that in Hawaii, and, Maui. And I, I was only third. Yeah, yeah. And I was, I was on Maui. I love Maui. I do too. But I can't live there anymore. Yeah. For whatever yeah. reason. Yeah. It, well, but, it was time for the energy to shift because right. we have to be in different places, right? Uh, so, so. So anyway, Topanga, it was told I, I needed to go to Hawaii. And I needed to go to Hawaii. There was something there for me. And I needed to write a book on Lemuria. Mm -hmm. About a year into that, I got a phone call from Angelica Whitecliffe. Were you interested in doing a documentary film on Brazo? Well, I saw the Bratza tapes and I went, oh my God, I wouldn't go to this. If you paid me, these people are falling down. There's ambulances coming. And I said, he really needs our help. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't even really believe him mm -hmm. because these things were so freaky. But I said to my husband at the time, I said, if this was true, this would be really great and the world needs this. Yes. And so, of course, our, we had in, instant recognition and I worked with him for three and a half years. Mm -hmm. And then that, that was stopped. And then I went on, um, I was asked to work with another healer. I was asked to work with Mas Sajadi at Love that point. Love Mas Sajadi. He's yeah. been on the show many, many yeah, times. Yeah, he has. And he's a good friend. Yeah, and, I bet he has. And I do like the depth that he goes to. Yeah, and so I worked with him for about a year to help get him out there a little bit more, and then somebody else, and then somebody else, and, and two other people in between. And then I got a um, phone call from um, a uh, Johnny Podell about Johnny's a good friend of yeah, mine. I'm going to see him this week. Yeah, about Abdi, and he said, "Would you be interested in representing this?" I'm like, "Well, this is interesting." We got on the phone, a conference call, um, and he and Abdi, and I said, "Abdi, I gotta tell ya, 
little gun shy about doing this again. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is really where I should be. I but she really did it with Bratu and Moss. And, and Shivasti and, and one other guy. Mm -hmm. And I just said, I, I don't know, I'm a little, I'm kind of, kind of I'm feeling a little gun shy. And so Abby said, look, I'm gonna send you some energy. You're gonna know about it in the next two weeks. Right. You're gonna feel it. And you can work with me one event. We'll do one event. And if you don't feel like this is something you wanna do, then you go. Mm -hmm. And so we went to the event. It's in Berkeley, my hometown, mm -hmm. Berkeley. And um, birth town. And first tap, I went down. Yeah, he touches people at the and they fall over. Right. And I went into this place of deep, 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 deep bliss. I can't, I can't even talk about really what happened. I know. It's pretty amazing. Right. It was amazing. It, it's Kundalini. It was yes. amazing. And then the second time, second round, he touched me. I was on my back and my hands started to do this. And I'm like, I don't know really what they're doing, but it, everything was blessed. Everything mm -hmm. was blessed. And when that was all over, and he had had me up on stage at this time. I was the first person to go down and the first person to dance. So afterwards, people came up to me and they said, wow, we... So what your hands are doing, what are you doing? I said, I don't know. It just kind of happened. Like, what? I, I, they just, my hands. And I was like, oh my God, we can feel it. Do you see the lights coming off of these things? Like, no, I'm here for Abdi. I don't you know. But so slowly I began feeling and feeling them reaching toward people if they weren't feeling well. Mm. I started dating someone who had Lyme disease. And he was so bad that he couldn't even get up the stairs without pulling himself up wow. the stairs. But with you know, when I found out he was hurting so badly, I asked, you know, I don't, I've got this little gift. Do you want to try? And we tried, and he instantly felt relief. Instantly wow. felt relief, and the whole line was clear in about a week. Really? Because you put your hands on him? They, they began to dance. They dance? Like how? Like how would they? do this. They? And so for him, it on went here, purse? here, here, touch, here, and here. Out. So, and it goes like that, and so my hands will go where they're supposed to go. And, you know, I have a little thing that I say before I start to make sure that we're all in alignment because I want to make sure. I, one of my things with, when yeah. I worked with Brazo is I saw so many courageous people coming forward. So many people that were hurting and in pain. And as Johnny said, no one got here on the wings of glory, right? I mean, these are people that are literally looking for mm -hmm. balance and harmony. So I'm always encouraged by the courage mm -hmm. that's always there. So this is what you're doing yeah, now? You're yeah. traveling the world with your hands. Are they emanating energy all the time or do you activate them? I, they? they just, they're always, they're always on and it comes to my voice. I sing it. I have the language that comes through that while people are saying, oh, is that light language or, you know, another faction, oh, you're speaking in tongues. And I'm like, well, all I hear is it's the language of love behind the God that created this universe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're saying when you're speaking? Many times. Uh, not always. Not, I'm not always supposed to know. I'm not rifling through your diary right now. Right. right but I right. can see things. So it's an energetic, like, um, vibration you're putting into that person. Source energy is coming through me. So Jane's completely out of the way. I am an open channel in that I hear and I, I see, and I often, um, I call what they use is the toolbox is being used. Mm -hmm. And this is a toolbox that has a lot of comedy. So there is a lot of comedy. And when I dance, because it's not just my hands, my whole body moves around the room. And sometimes I'll do a goofy dance and I'll, you know, there'll be some commentary on it and I'll start dancing. Sometimes it'll be a really beautiful dance. Sometimes it's very sensual. People began dancing. Other people, and it used to be that people would fall down much like with Abdi. Right. Um, and then uh, when I stopped having people travel with me to be my catchers, um, I saw that I could throw a tether down. And so they become buoyant, like in a balloon. So. What do your old friends in the comedy, <laughs> acting, television world say about this? They think it's really cool. Um, and many of them have tried it, but everyone wants to remain anonymous um, and they don't want to put it out there because, you know, the tabloids have a field day with this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I have many, many, many friends that come to me that I will never reveal that they come and they get help. And mm -hmm. everyone from musicians, you know, you know, rock stars to actors to producers, directors, you know. Is this your things. mission or you feel like this is leading to something even beyond it? My mission. That's a really good question, Alan. Is that's this my I mission? I, that, is that, that's your question you always no, ask? No, that's not a question. I mean, <laughs> I asked her because I just want to know what's, what's your destiny? Is this part of it? Is this it? I mean, it might be. No, I'm in, a, I am in constant evolution. And I, Jane, I am, I am humbly in service mm -hmm. of Source Energy right now. I'm humbly. I am here to do what I'm supposed to do to the utmost and fullest. I always say I dance for your best and your highest good and everything else we send to the light. And I don't know from day, I mean, I have a sense, I plan things ahead. I mean, we're going to Peru and Chile soon for this, you know, totality eclipse tour. 
and I have a, se a certain sense, but I also go, well, you know, it could have stopped tomorrow, and I don't know what I don't know what God or Source has right. has in mind for do me to do next. You feel it coming through uh, every minute. Every what do you feel? Sometimes I have to put my hands in ice. This happened the other night. We were I don't know where where were we that we I had to put my hands in ice again because I was the energy was so hot. Like okay, what cool. are you feeling? I feel until I am blessed. Well, do you want to do your dance? Sure. I mean, go ahead. I'm, I'm open. <laughs> yeah, because, but you know, just like with everybody, you don't always necessarily feel of course, it, right? It's whatever so it is. So if it's supposed to be. So right. do you want to stand up or do you want to do it right here? Oh, we could do it right well, here. So okay. All right. So I, I do it this way. So okay. I don't know if you want to okay. a camera whatever. or something like nope. that. Okay. This is good. So rent it to give. Okay. So the language is going to come through right away for you. Okay. So prumba sa chiku rumba si chupi mi nono falati tifumbu la sanjela fipi kilo. Are you feeling this, Alan? Because you. It's making okay. me smile. Okay, look at me. So, oh. so you can have an intention if you want to, and some of the people well, are healing, with, energy, you know, uplifting, so, yeah, yes. all of that and more all beyond your imagining. Yeah. So, red basa from bola, sit in me like a tattoo. Yeah. Grand as a chip of my latte, Casamalan, a killer, so chaluta, the cup for us, and ticket of Mula, and feel a chopa. You didn't do this on the Today Show, did you? So for so for I've done it on the talk shows. I did not do it on the Today Show today, but maybe next time. Hey, so chafola. Because sometimes people, sometimes people get a little too high, like the woman I did it on the the Sacramento Today Show, or whatever that show was called. Yeah, Sacramento Today. She almost fell over. No, I like, I like, I do feel good. Some people liken it to getting really, really high. That do feel so high. So, you don't have to look at me if I No, no, I want to look at you because there's more transmission, right? No, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. So, these are the what I call the dancing mudras. Mm -hmm. I shall take for a lot of you could close your eyes if you need to. No, it does feel me. very, I would say, very good. Sufi Picarola. It's on Japo Papetiniko from Bodet Titanane. Becasson for la Tica Sanjano, Mata Kishofula, Makita Pal, the microphone. My my hands are liking the microphone. Oh, Panica Such of Molatica from Motion de Peco, a Nichumba. Nice. Oh, let me see. Cast. Oh, shambula. Cast. Can show you one spot. Like right. Sort of like. Okay. There. All right. And I'm gonna let that. Let, okay. I'm gonna let the hands find where they okay. want to go. Okay. Yes. 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 So shambula. Cast. Shambula. See. So what? What I do is, and people do tell me things. But I you may know. not go there. No. No. So fine. like. Here. Sometimes I'll do surgery. Oh, shambula. Yeah. Shanta. Tiko. Shambula. Shanta. Si. May I? Sure. Sushi fibiki. Mo kamba to ka ma fi koshan. It's an interesting thing. My hands do something very specific for surgery. This is not it. Okay, I'll tell you when it does. Oh, there it is. Ofaba. Matsi fomburan. So you won't, we probably won't feel this. You go into anesthesia first. Kosuchi fi ma. Did you feel that as almost like an, um, an epidural that just flushed down your spine? Mo kamba. Now, no one taught you this, right? It so just fine. all came to you comes through, yeah. in the spirit. Yeah, and I believe me when I've, I, I was so excited because I'm a research fiend and I was, I used to work in a research library and I love books. So I went out about a whole bunch of anatomy books and I look at them and I can read a couple sentences and then everything blurs and I'm hearing that. And there's no way that I could do all the medical training that I need to do to learn what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And my brain would get in the way and I would be too limiting for what it is that I do. So things that can happen, like when I went on Abdi's retreat in mm -hmm. Costa Rica, his wife had a broken toe and within 20 minutes it was all better. Mm -hmm. um, his assistant had a messed up knee and she goes, oh, and so I worked on her knee. Mm -hmm. And um, basically she said, oh, you just gave me a knee replacement. And she, was, she had been not able to walk for that entire week. And then when it was all done, she was doing salsa the next day. I told her to rest for another day. So this is sort of like... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 do your thing. No, no, I'm just saying this is like the John of God sur psychic surgeries. Or the... Yeah, not always it's surgery. I'm some t and I'll start talking backwards. No, it's okay, you can do that. Um, not always is it surgery. Sometimes it's just general well-being or professional mm -hmm. prowess. I worked with a company once and... Um, 
and she, she, this woman had come. She was she was wooing someone who was at the circle, and she wanted that as a client. And she goes, I don't know what you did, but I feel like I went to the spa for the whole weekend. Could you come work with my company? Mm -hmm. So I did. And there, and I got to the circle where I'm working with this mm -hmm. great big group of people. I get there, you go, so you all know what I'm doing, right? And they're like, no, we just have to be here because our boss told us to. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> so we do. So I get him going, and about about three minutes in, all of the men started to cry. Mm. A couple of the women, and um, you know, within. Oh, that's a, good. That's a good point. Yes, I'm glad you found that point. But the company is doing multi-million dollar business now. They're doing very, very well. So you so you're affecting the body through a kind of energetic um, input, would you say? Or maybe you don't... That's how I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Let me clarify that for you. I get you. it. <laughs> um, no, you don't have to think. Don't think. Shunka. Mm. It clears stress too. I feel yeah. the stress. Yeah. People get really relaxed. Don't go for more. Can I come on your spine? Yes, we'll do whatever you need I'll to do. Here for <laughs> Just to kind of like we have it have all... chaperones. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm all yours right in this moment. This is fine. <laughs> Because it actually feels excellent. That's so important. It's different than Abby and mm -hmm. Moss. It's and, very different. And, and, and I'm a tap. all those other people. Where's my mic? Um, am I messing you up? Because I have to tap. So sometimes I'll, mm, sometimes I'll use my body in proxy so that I don't hurt you. You can tap on mine like that. You can do that. No, I'm taking it out of mine. Okay, but you, you, I don't mind. It's, no, it's, it'll mess up your mic too. No, it's okay. Gotcha. It's all for... Oh, I knew this was going to be coming today. For Vola, because I'm talking to you, Alan. Okay. What is that one, though, that's coming? Oh, thank you so much. I see the alien coming through your eyes. Cool, Sanjika, but only the benevolent ones, because I know yeah, there's a lot of yucky nakasa. There's a lot of them. No, 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 but you tapped into something there. In Jashi, call from Botanida. Moshande, can no Kasishiti, can Volani Kasambanane. You're going through all the dialects now, go. I call this the security panel here, so mm -hmm. and I just clean out behind the batteries. So that's a little And you've been doing this for like two years now? Nah, coming on three and a half, the Mother's Day weekend. And Mama you enough. keep developing your skills. Huh? I keep, you know what, it's funny because, you know, from the get-go, I was blessed with... Uh, yeah, so from the get-go, it was really right away. I mean, the, 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 that line was one of the first things I did right away. And I worked with someone with cancer right away. Uh, she was going in for surgery, and mm -hmm. they went in to open, I mean, literally, they went in to open her up, and her grapefruit-sized tumor was gone. Mm -hmm. So it happened right away. But what's happened in terms of the expansion and the development mm -hmm. is my trust and me getting out of the way more and not being all giddy and giggling about it. Now now I'm just a little more free with it. But all, but also um, different kinds of modalities. So I work one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. Abdi had, was instrumental in me, and I had worked with one-on-two. But when I went to Costa Rica, Abdi had me working on one-on-two, one, mm -hmm. one to two, one to five, one to ten, one Are to seven. Are you surprised at the results? Did you expect anything, or you I thought... I had no expectation. You did. I had no expectation, but I also had no will or intention besides serving for the best and the highest good. So it's, I'm like a child on a summer day. Mm -hmm. I go, what cool thing is going to happen next? And I feel so excited 
And so, is this okay I'm touching? Some yes, people? no, that's good. That's okay. a good point. I, I mean, this is what I'm going to do when I get down low on anyone's okay. form that I don't know that's, that's I'm not fine. intimate with. I'm going to do that's that fine. instead. That way we're safe. That's okay? Fine. That's what I'm going to do. Well, yeah, I just don't think no, I should I be touching in the that's wrong fine. spots right you now. Can, you're, you're so, fine. Bopa siti So, the expansion is that I work in different ways now. So, I can work with a big group, I can work with one on one. I'm also working. So there's there's an oncologist who came to um, one of my circles, and I, I went around. I was around her hands. I'm like, oh my gosh! After the circle, I said, do you know your hands are healing hands also? And she said, well, I am a surgeon. I'm like, oh yeah, oh, but you really are the healer, right? You know this, right? She said, well, I don't know. I go come back in three months. Let's talk about it again. So in three months, she had a private. Um, situation, private session, and afterwards, I, I, I said, I, I just got to stop. I have to ask you, are you, would it be adversely impactful for your family if you stopped doing surgery? She goes, oh my God, I would love to have that happen. I'm really tired of being in the operating room. I work so hard. I just want to be outside. I said, well, I'm seeing that. You could absolutely do all of that and more. Let's keep dancing. So she stayed. She danced for the rest of the circle. And then after, um, uh, two days later, she, I Call, was calling my facilitator for my events up in Rhode Island, and she um, happened to walk in. Of course, no coincidences. She happened to walk in, and she said, oh, you're talking to Jane. Let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. And so she gets on the phone, and she says, Jane, you're never going to believe what happened that night. I went home, and I prayed over the files. And two days later, which is today, my radiologist calls and said, did you zap patient X? And uh, she said, I don't know what you're talking about. Patient X, did you zap them? She said, what, what do you, what, tell me why. She said, well, because we're getting pre-op imaging. Mm -hmm. The pre-op imaging, it was, this, I guess the bed of the tumor was a 2.2 centimeter tumor. And now it's a 0.8. Mm -hmm. So right away, she was able to make that shift. And so this is now the evolution also is that much, I guess, much like Abdi and Moss. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you. I guess. No, no. Um, but I'm, but, but whatever is coming through me is opening up gifts because I really believe it's all hands on deck time. We all mm. need to wake up to our gifts. There's no time for hierarchy. There's no time. We all need to get out there and work at our best. So you, your activation is activating other people to activate other people, and then we. Ah, hopefully. Our ship. But this is also feels very ancient, very shamanic, very. Um, how it used to be done. This is with the original emergency room doctors. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I like this emergency room doctor imaging because it's, I've been saying this for years that I feel like I'm an emergency room doctor because I'm on call 24 7. Mm. I don't know if they really are on call 24 7, but I, I thought they might be. And so I, um, I, th I kept saying that, and then mm. suddenly, of course, now I have. Well, the body is energy, and I think that's exactly. <laughs> My such a food constant. Sorry, I don't mean to no, no, you. no, no. Keep doing your thing. No, that's fine. Do your thing. You could, you could do that for on me too. If no, it's no. Not okay. even but it's too uncomfortable. You get a bruise. Well, I don't want I, you to get a bruise. But I don't. Okay, whatever. Okay. 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 Shanti, gosh, let's, and it's good for the camera angle too. It is. Okay. It's very good. <laughs> How are we looking there? <laughs> <We're rolling right. laughs> Uh, that was good. I had some actually problems, candida, low water in the air there. That's good. So you I didn't are, know this. No, you didn't know anything about me, really. So that's good because I had, yeah. So I feel like it's an energy vibration that's then embedded in the body. This is my interpretation okay. of this. But, hmm. Your interpretation is as good as any. Right, exactly. <laughs> right? But I do, you know, energetically. Can I stop? We're, no, okay. keep going. No, okay, I'm going to pat you down here now. We, oh, you can, I can't do that, Alan. Okay, whatever. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> I can't do that. I <laughs> can't do that. It's not personal. Okay. No, but I so feel like... Um, it's next phase of uh, whatever Reiki was supposed to be, or whatever all those yeah. energetics were supposed to be. Maybe. Well, Maybe. I feel, you know, I feel excited and heartened. I have a lot of people who have come forward. I'm actually doing a free circle mm -hmm. right now online with mm -hmm. women, um, mostly women, who, whose hands are, or their voices are waking up, and they mm -hmm. don't necessarily even need to be a, awakened under this dancing hand circle. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's been really lovely to find, and so emotional. So many people just cry because they've always felt like the outcast or the weirdo. I mean, come on. Weren't we all the geek in our classes? Weren't we all like the There's weirdo? There's one in every family. I, yeah, I think, I mean, I think when you really get down to it, everybody thinks that they're weirdo. They always think that they're the that's odd true. ball out, right? That's true. And 
particularly in this realm where people have been talking to their secret friends or they're super shy, as I was. I don't know if you were. Were you shy? Or Never you? shy. No, uh, I was shy, boy. but I always did feel outside the group. Yeah. But I do want to ask, when you're yeah. in a group of people, when you, how do you work in a group that's different than what you're doing now? I dance. Uh, so I have music. I, I also can do this. Oh, you should probably experience that, though. Let's right, so, do it. So in a big circle, a big circle, I am, I, music is on, and I am danced. So I'll go around, there'll be head whipping, my body's moving around, mm -hmm. everybody has their own dance, the whole circle. Everybody's I, dancing with you. If they want, uh -huh. or they can just hang out there. They can just stand there, but I ask for you know, their attention, and sometimes I'll move people around, we can create matrices. Mm -hmm. But what happens, matrices, but when I do a work as a, what I call the quanta circle, which is just 10 people, mm -hmm. it's just the voice it's just, and there's what I call the Oli, like a Hawaiian chant coming through mm -hmm. that does feel shamanic to a lot of people, but it's super, super powerful. And I just had some testing done on this too with mm -hmm. Don Estes. So this is your work. This is work. your work. Are you finished? Oh, keep going. Oh, no, never. No, keep, keep. <laughs> <laughs> there's always something fun to play with, huh? Is there, are you, so you're not thinking, you're not saying, no. oh, this energy's here, this, this, no. this, this. No, I just, my hands are source led. Dancing hands. Go ahead, Bella. Jane Sibbett. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? This is your name of your. Yeah, well, content, you know, and we talked about like, ugh, I hate even saying the word branding, but rebranding because people are complaining. It's not just your hands, it's your voice, it's the way you move, it's the I way you talk, it's the way your eyes. It's kind of fun, or and dancing spirit, or dancing. dancing. It's kind of what it is right now. We've been doing it for a few. But, but, yeah, I can you just keep doing this on and on with it? Oh, that now I feel, feel heat right there. You ha definitely have something happening there for you. <laughs> just now. No, no, I mean, that, no, that I feel a little more. <laughs> I feel like that's, oh yeah, that is actually taking, I just hit my head there, and then you're taking down the swelling. But there must be people who are into this and say this woman's like, you know, out there. But you don't get that. Are you kidding? I, of course they do. Of oh, course they, they do. do. Of course they do. And I at this, I love no, it myself. No, no, but you know what? They usually don't end up at my circle. Right. And most people, they get the yes or the no immediately, and it's great. And I never want to force myself on anyone. My goodness, I come oh. from a, such a conservative background in my family, mm -hmm. and it's hilarious. They're probably the ones that I find most surprising is I have a lot of priests that come. I have a lot of nuns and doctors and therapists. I mean, people that I wouldn't have ever expected. CEOs of companies that come because everybody right now is going through stuff right. and everybody needs support. And I'm, you know, they know that coming from an entertainment world, I'm very discreet. And right. so I'll never tell their stories, you know, yeah. out of school, right? Because you're one of them. You're part of that class of beings. Yeah, that, it was, it's fun working with some of the athletes, too, and to right. see what they play, you know. On and the do they board. have a response, the athletes, oh, the professional God, athletes? yeah. Wow. You know, there's some, I met, I was working with some tennis pros, and there was a, a woman was saying that they all know about this one tennis player that everybody knows that travels with their healer, and but their healer works with them, but he also goes like this over the, over the game, and I just went, not an integrity. You can't cheat. Uh, and so for me, I was like, oh, dude, wow. So close. Why are you, you know, distorting your gift like that? Mm. You gotta be an integrity. I mean, for me, right, right. Okay. Integrity is key. You know, what I'm getting is that you could really teach people to do this because it's just about okay. transmission of the spirit. And once they get that, then they could just dance themselves, right? I, this, my hope. And I believe that everybody has a gift inside of them, whether or not they're mm. ready to open it is another thing. But my hope is that everybody work. You know, uses their self-healing. I mean, that was one of the big things that happened when I first had the gift mm -hmm. and I got in this horrible, you know, I, did you hear about this crash that I was in? No. I was rear-ended. These boys were uh, drag racing down Sunset Boulevard and um, their car was totaled all the way to the glass and somehow they escaped. These were teenage boys. And my car was was pushed like 60 feet away and they, they estimated that they were going to 65, but still it's pretty fast. And so when the when the fire department came, they said, you know, ma'am, can you show us the car? I'm like, oh, it's over there. And they come out like, ma'am, can you really show us the car? I'm like, no, that's it. I'll come. Like, ma'am, there's no way. Look, it's got this little tiny scratch on the bumper. I, said, I haven't gotten rid of this car. So your energy field was surrounded I, the car. I was completely, and this was all the way home. I'm going like this because they said, you know, they they said we should, maybe should go to the hospital. I'm like, no, I'll be okay. And, um, and they said, well, maybe you might be sore. I'm like, no, I'm not going to be sore. I go, because whatever it is, I, got, I was really high at the time, right? Because I was surrounded in so much light. 
So whatever it is that made their car look like that and my car look like that, I'm gonna call on that. And they're like, okay, crazy lady. And they said to my friend, can you make sure she gets home okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll watch her. And all the way home, I was dancing, dancing, and dancing my hand. And as I'm driving the car, kind of self-healing. Yeah, I didn't even know. I mean, I'm driving, and I get out, because this is brand new to the gift, literally. Mm -hmm. and, and all of a sudden, when I get out of the car, I popped out of the car, and sorry, um, Okay, you'll heal the yeah, it's going to become alive. <laughs> I get out of the car and I said, did you see my hand? He goes, yeah, I watched your hand. I go, I know, it's kind of crazy. You want to go for a walk? He's like, you need to go to bed.